when I got into university and I would come home for like holidays and stuff, yeah. December, December was your, your period. <laughs> and not just my period because my family, my mom could do with me not cooking. Mm. Said, my mom doesn't even want me to cook anymore for her mm. because I take a lot of time apparently in the kitchen. Eh? <laughs> She's like, December is yeah, too, too much. much. <laughs> do you understand? The processes are too much. Okay, pa, 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 cut it down. Do you understand? So she's like, I can't let people be hungry because you're cooking. Yeah, cooking. So, but then she'll say, Okay, yeah, you cook something for Christmas, all of that mm. stuff. But my aunties, I'd go to all my aunties' house to cook for them mm. on Christmas Day and on um, Boxing, Boxing Day. Boxing Day, oh, so really? my, yeah. So, one of my, but were they paying you? No, they weren't actually. <laughs> I mean, it's one of those things where you grow up in an Nigerian home and you're like the youngest and uh, most They're important. Expensive. They love you. Oh, okay. That, you know, Nigerian people, when they love you, they walk you They'll, out. Yes. <laughs> do you understand? So it's one of that's how we show love. You, that's how, you, that's how <laughs> they, they were showing love to me. Mm. Do you understand? So I knew that I was going to cook. My mom likes, um, like, likes this thing where the stew that she wants to, because we would cook like different things, but mm. the stew that she wants to give out for Christmas is going to be cooked like the night before the Christmas so that okay. very early in the morning, morning yeah. she's going to share food to everybody. So I would help my mom out before Christmas. Mm. Then the food that we are going to eat at home, which is most likely banga and starch or all this, yeah. I would cook that. Okay. And then from my house, which is actually very far away in Lagos, I'd have to go to my auntie's, my first auntie's house, do all the bohaha of cooking. Mm. While I'm there, my other aunt is telling me that I've prepped everything for you when mm. you come. So most of my Christmas, my... Boxing, Boxing Day, day just was cooking. just me cooking. But soup. you enjoyed it, right? I really did. I don't mm. anymore. I really, I, and I mean, when I mean I don't like, I mean mm. the stress of okay. Having, Lagos is a lot of decent, and where we live in Lagos and where my aunt is, like it was mm-hmm. like, like yeah, so you had to do all this. And I mean, there were there were no boats and Ubers then, then and all this, yeah. so you have to take public transportation. Mm. That was a lot of work. So yeah. I wasn't. I was doing that for a really long time, and yeah, I got into school, and I mean, I had to cook because I'm in school. Mm. And yeah, then I started my cake business. Oh, okay. Yeah, I started cake business when I was in 100 level. Was it like proper, like, yeah, I have Insta- birthday cakes? Or? Yeah, I have. Oh. I have an Instagram page for it that, oh. I, again, I may or may not be opening soon, but mm. um, yeah, I did that. But is, please do. I, I had I, I did that for you for... But now you're leaving us in Portacos. We need people like you in Portacos. We don't have so many good cake people in Portacos. Are you sure? There are many good cake people in Portacos. Okay, you give me their plug before you go. But really? Yeah, I don't... And I, I, I just know one or two and the one I know that is like mo- the most popular that is Drippos now yeah I know Drippos <sighs> I'm tired of Drippos cake I use that for everything I'm tired oh, of it try Reciparian cakes Reciparian cakes uh, yeah he's my friend uh, yeah I can I'll okay. give you some after now okay. yeah so um, I started a baking business and that's how I know that soft life has always been my <laughs> what happened was I. it's so shocking how I ended up like how I stopped the cake business situation mm. so I'm very practical. I'm very detailed yeah. when it comes to what I... If I say I want to do this thing, best believe that I'm going to put it. my all yeah. in it. Just because I... Again, I know how to take criticism, especially if it's constructive criticism and all of yeah. that. And again, I'm very practical. I know that not everybody's going to like what you're doing. That is... That, that, I've yeah. always known that. But what... Had, yeah, I started cake business. It was being really smooth, but I was also... Um, combining it with work. I'm sorry, with school. Okay. And my dad was very against that. Oh, Why? go to school like my dad was like see go to school like we'll take care of the school mm. situation like why are you trying to make money and stuff and all yeah. of that but i'm like do ah, something mm. do you get what i mean but so i was trying to do it like secretly and all about i mean instagram <laughs> instagram had this, <laughs> how, how much people, of a secret can it be yeah how much mm. of a secret can it be especially when mm-hmm. you want to grow and yeah. stuff so i think um yeah some people that knew my dad kind of saw my whatever and then mm. my dad I went home and my dad was still very much against it but that was not the reason I actually stopped mm. it was going really well until I had this very 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 chaotic experience with a mm. client and that was my first ever bad review mm. which I don't I, where I am now I don't even count as a bad review anymore mm. but as I did it was my first ever bad review and I just packed up so uh-uh. hold on do you want to give me the gist <laughs> okay come no, okay, let me explain let me explain what happened. Mm. Um so sometimes when you give like bakers jobs and they can't do it, they will send it to another baker that can do it and mm. and back then buttercream cakes were my thing. Like I they still are. Mm. Ooh, jeez, I would do it like over do you understand? So those were my thing. And someone someone had reached out to me that they were not around in Port for me mm. to do something for a client of theirs and all of that. And I took the job 
and I, I did the key. I know how Potter Court is. It can be sunny now and it's raining the next time. Yeah, exactly. And they had sent, we had agreed on everything. Do you understand? We had agreed on everything. And I went to deliver the cake. That I had, then I didn't even, I couldn't even send someone to go and just give you. I can't yeah. just give you myself. Excuse you. That person <laughs> has locked up because why am I excuse you? <laughs> so you think you are? <laughs> I was living, I was living at Ada George then because mm. I was a student. I was living at Ada George then. And I had to go and deliver the cake at Ajib. The, there's a Kilimanjaro at Ajib mm. Junction. Yeah. That's where I went to deliver this cake. And I went there. It was about to rain. But the, I waited for them, like, for the client mm. to come. They drove down there. And then the woman, she was pregnant. Which I, I, I'm not blaming this on pregnancy. <laughs> not, please. She was pregnant. And then yeah. I dropped, like, they opened the boots. And then I dropped mm. the cake. And she opened the cake. And she was like... Did you just make it? I'm like, no, I've, I've we've been having a question mm. and I made it like a few hours ago and stuff. And it's like, oh, really? That's something's off about the cake. She doesn't like And uh, just by looking at it. Mm. Yeah. And this was the evening. This was like mm. past six, seven. She, that she doesn't like the cake. I'm like, you've not even opened mm. And then it was later on and I realized that she was expecting a fondant cake. But my oh. contact had told me to make a buttercream cake. Oh. Do you understand? Yeah. That's exactly why. Which you explain why she was asking, did you just make it? Make- because you, you, you never had the kind okay. of situation. Okay, yeah. I'm like, this is. I even showed like that's him. I always have my receipts mm. when it comes to. I don't. I don't. I don't like problems. Exactly. So I showed this person the. I'm like, this is what they told mm. me to do. Like, this is the message from like. Yeah. This whole, and she went on on this whole ass rant. What rubbish? I rant nonsense. Is this what I'm paying fourteen thousand? I think. Was it up to fourteen? Then don't go and give them hype. <laughs> Some amount of money, shall yeah. This is what I paid this amount of money for. Da, 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 da. This was now rain was about to fall. It was already drizzling. Guess what? Her husband was in the car, she was in the car, I was standing outside, and it was already drizzling. Yes, and if you know me, people that know me know me. I I used to, I mean, I, I'm a recovering people pleaser. Mm. So I was there being very apologetic. Do you know? I've got I did my job. Yeah. I was being very I'm, I'm sorry about this. And uh, Professionalism <laughs> self put in trouble. I was being very I'm telling you in this Nigeria. I, I was I was being very I'm very sorry about your experience. How old was I? 18. Exactly. Do you understand? I'm very sorry about this, very sorry about that. And this person is like, she was not having it though. Guess what happened? Rain started falling. Heavy rain started falling. It was I was standing there. I was standing under the rain. Now what happened was why this whole rain was just to tell you how uh, explain how heavy this rain was. Mm. The security guy from the mm. um, Kilimanjaro was inside the Kilimanjaro. He came outside with an umbrella to stand like this with me. Hmm. This is somebody I've never seen before. before I yeah. just to tell you how bad, bad the rain was. was. My phone that I was always pampering, I didn't really care about it. And that after that experience, I'm like, you know what? Okay. I just asked myself, uh, which thank God for privilege. Mm. Let me just say that because yeah. If you don't bake cakes from now to whenever, are you going to starve? No. no that, was yeah. the, that was the answer I needed. And when I go home, I slept, and the next day I packed everything, and I just started distributing them among the bakers that I knew. Are you serious? I, yeah, you take this, you take this, you take this. I'm, that, mm. I don't get energy. <laughs> I, so, and that's, so that's what I, I have a, a similar story somehow. I, use, I mm. see, I don't know how to deal with all those. Because yeah. this person did, did not even pay my balance. I'm like, eat it up. Oh, she didn't even pay your balance. I'm like, carry mm. your problem they go so that's what happened and um after that yeah there was a whole period of me just focusing on school which was a mm. very bad idea by the way um <laughs> why was it a bad idea ah, do you want us to go into that discussion that's a <laughs> long discussion there was a whole period of me not um mm. you have just go to school and make mm. daddy proud mm. but that happened and content creation came when i discovered the mommy okay funny I've always been on YouTube. 